Welcome to Photography at East Norfolk Sixth Form College. My name is Erin Patel, and for the last three years, I've been 50% of the photography teaching team here at the college. I eat, sleep, and breathe photography, and had a career as a freelancer and a portrait photographer before stepping into education. The other 50% of the teaching team here is Joe Cook. Joe is all about analog photography and historical processes, and is an absolute expert in the darkroom. So now you've met the team, let's talk about the course. First, we'll get you skilled up on the technical side of photography. This is building upon any prior knowledge that you may have and teaching you how to use digital SLR cameras, the basics of Photoshop and all of the awesome professional equipment that we have around the college. Next, we'll teach you how to apply those new skills and techniques to build creative projects, how to respond to current affairs and media and how to build your own innovative photography briefs. Next, we'll get experimental, where we'll start looking at manual processes and historical photography. And finally, we'll set you loose on the personal creative inquiry. This is your opportunity to put your stamp on your own project and innovate it from scratch, obviously with the support of Joe and myself. This is where the majority of the marks come from, and you're scored through assessment objectives. Here are the assessment objectives. AO1, develop ideas. AO2, explore and select appropriate resources, techniques, equipment, materials in order to further and refine those ideas. Assessment objective three is to observe the world around you. Assessment objective four is to build a final product for the course. So which other subjects does photography go well with? Well, Creative media is really good for a start, looking at film and moving image. Any other art and design subject that we have in the area. English language and English literature use a lot of the same analytical skills. And games design is for you tech geeks out there that love tinkering around on computers. Here's some examples of some student work through, throughout last year. You can see that we have a diverse range of imagery that students create, because essentially we give, deliver a brief, but what you make is up to you. So where do our students go after they finish the course? Lots of our students choose to go to universities and we have really good links with the local universities in the area, with Norwich University of the Arts and the University of Suffolk. Which careers might you want to consider after studying photography with us here at EN? Well, Lots of our students go on to become freelance photographers or work within local studios, um, but the options don't limit to just photography. Essentially, the skills that you'll pick up while studying with us apply to industries such as graphic design, marketing, videographers, and of course, you could choose to become a teacher. So now onto some questions that are frequently asked by students. Do I have to know how to use a camera to take photography? Essentially, it's always preferable. However, you don't. We can start from scratch. As long as you're keen and willing to learn, that's essentially what we're here to do, is to teach people how to use the equipment that they'll need to either go up to the next level of study or to step into industry. And the majority of the learning for camera usage will happen during the technical part of the study. Do I need to own a camera? It's not essential, no, but it definitely is preferable. Essentially, owning your own DSLR or mirrorless system or similar camera will free up your time uh, when you're at home and outside of college in order to complete tasks and challenges and to keep on shooting. There's definite benefits to owning your own piece of kit. Uh, we do have a fully stocked equipment department here called Skills, where essentially you students can borrow cameras and other lighting equipment and tripods free of charge. If you do want to buy a camera, Either Joe or I can tell you how to get the most for your money and introduce you to some fantastic second-hand dealers or uh, to point you in the directions of the best deal at the time. Lots of people want to know if there is an exam. Essentially, the first year of study is 100% coursework. That means no formal exam at the end. At the end of the second year, the A2, Yes, there is an exam. It's a controlled assessment, but it's all making and doing. It's not a written exam. Is it expensive to study photography? No, no, it's not. 
There is a certain cost that comes along with having to invest in materials for your own study. For example, darkroom paper uh, to print photography onto, or paper for the inkjet printers, or glue to stick it into your sketchbook. But there is financial support available for those of you that need it in the form of the Family Action Grant or the College Bursary. Uh, if you need any guidance or support with any of that or have any questions to do with financial support available at the college, speak to your teacher or approach your progress tutor. So here's a few useful links and ideas for you guys to have a look at and to read, in inverted commas, before you come and study with us. Firstly, please hit YouTube. It's a fantastic wealth of great professional resources that people have put out to help people prepare themselves when it comes to getting their first footing up on photography. I myself have made a photography channel called Professor Patel's Photography Parlor, which is great if you're trying to play around with some of the early ideas and techniques that will give you a definite head start in getting into the classroom. Secondly, I'd recommend a photographer called Chris Bray. He's essentially released a two and a half hour long video that tells you everything that you need to know about the exposure triangle, uh, how ISO works, and basic digital SLR usage. Thirdly, I'd recommend a, a community called FX Home. They're a software company that predominantly make video editing software, but even though their blog and YouTube video is mainly about videography, there's a lot that can be learned to do with camera operation and the basics of lighting and creative process. Next, I kind of recommend that everybody gets their phone out as soon as you finish watching this video and follows at East Norfolk Photo on Instagram. This way, you can join in the conversation with us, current students, and see what we get up to in the classroom before coming into the college. Of course, we're also available on all major social media networks. Facebook, simply search for East Norfolk Sixth Form College to join the conversation. Follow along with at East Norfolk Arts on Twitter and at East Norfolk Arts on Instagram, as well as at East Norfolk Photo. Please do, if you've got any questions or queries, get in touch. Our phone number and mailing address and email address is all available on our website, www.eastnorfolk.ac.uk.